Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberhack. Today I um oof, oh god. Ugh. I, I swear I hate YouTube, but let's just continue on. No edits whatsoever. Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberhack. So today I'm gonna be going over what the hell I've been doing and why I have AWS all over my thumbnails and on the screen right now. Well, not this screen. This is actually my YouTube page. So uh, if you guys are new to this channel and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, well, one is I sit through a uh, doing interviews with you guys, not interviews so much, um, not mock interviews or anything like that. I, I have sat through with a few subscribers that reached out to me because in my past videos, I said that, you know, help me help you. Uh, let's grow together. I reviewed some of the resumes. I am working towards even uh, potentially interviewing one of those individuals because I am looking for someone of certain talent. So that's uh, the reason why I do these things is to help out the community. At the same time, I'm not charging for any of this. So if that's something that you're interested in, email me. I know I've been trying to, you know, work with a lot of you guys and I've just been like overwhelmed. But at the same time, I'm trying to find time to do all that. Uh, right now, this is my YouTube channel. I have been doing this for the last uh, less than a year, actually, now. So if you don't mind, subscribe, like, comment, share it out if you find this content any way useful. So let's keep on going. So right now, I let me just uh, put this up right now. So this is the AWS Cloud Practitioner. And you're asking me why all of a sudden I'm talking about AWS or cloud or anything specific to cloud, right? Well, there is a very generic way of doing this cloud certification, or you can jump into it and, you know, find a vendor that you are more favorable of, like whether it's AWS or Google or even uh, Microsoft's Azure environment. A lot of these trainings are free. And the, there is a reason why it's free because they want you to they want to capitalize on the amount of people who have this knowledge to support it. So organizations will be like, well, wow, there's like tons of people who knows how to manage and, uh, you know, create AWS accounts and, and do all that great stuff on the platform. And we don't have to train them. Um, they, they learned it, you know, directly from Amazon themselves or Microsoft or Google. So it's a it's a competitive drive within the industry. But but uh, I think you can choose your weapon, but at the end of the goal, it's more or less, it's going to be pretty similar. Not to say that they're going to be exactly the same, uh, you know, difference uh, between the three different vendors or even possibly even more going forward is that, you know, the concepts and the, the general technology behind it. And because of that, you know, it's, it's easier to adapt and understand it and being a cybersecurity professional, which this channel is kind of about because that's what I do. And you're probably wondering like, why don't I just go for like the ISC squares, uh, cloud certify, whatever, right? Uh, you can do that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. But my point is that if you're going to work with something, you might as well work with something in more detail and try to understand their product. Now you can do the whole generic, you know, vendor neutral certification, which is great as well. Uh, but you know, for the price tag, honestly, I think the, uh, uh, the, the, cloud practitioner, which I'm working on right now is a lot cheaper. I actually registered last night for a hundred dollars to take the test in two weeks. Now, granted it's two weeks and you're probably wondering, well, I know nothing about cloud. I don't know anything. And I don't know if two weeks, I'm not saying you have to do it in two weeks. I'm just doing it in two weeks because I feel pretty confident in what I know about this in order to take this certification. Now I've also read a lot on Reddit and a couple other forums that the cloud practitioner is really a high generic overview of AWS in the whole. So it doesn't get too technical. It's more of a theory exam. And I believe it's only like 60 questions or whatnot. Now we could probably go over the details of like how many questions and how long the exam is. I think the exam is like an hour and a half. So 60 questions. So, uh, we, we knocked that out pretty quick. Right. And the, the best of all, the, the training, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm 20% completed already. And I started late last night. It's already like, like it's all free. It's all there. This, these are the, this is the information that's going to be provided to you for free. So you can pass that certification. Now the certification itself, the exam, like I said, it is a hundred dollars, but there were some talks and I've seen other people saying like, oh, don't even bother with the, uh, you know, cloud practitioner. You should just jump right into the, uh, the next level up of the certification for AWS or whether it's Azure or, or Google. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just get my foot wet. You know why I wanted to do this specifically because I wanted to be able to put this on, you know, your thing, right? You want to display it. You want to prove that you have something. And uh, it was quick and easy. Uh, well, I haven't passed it yet, which I have it 
taken it yet and is going to be out in two weeks. It's, it's something that you could just add on top, right? Now, I know like for myself, I, I have an issue. I have an addiction and I'm going to admit it right now. I have a serious addiction. Like I'm studying for the C risk. I'm stud studying for the SISM and I'm studying for the OSCP. And now you're saying I'm studying for the AWS. Like where the hell do I find time? Well, that's, that's where my problem is. I don't have enough time. I don't feel like I have enough time, but I try to make the time. And the way I do that is by, you know, allocating parts of the day to doing what I feel like doing. Because if I had to stick with one thing consistently throughout the entire time, I kind of procrastinate a little bit. I get a little sluggish and I need some like boost. Um, I'll stare my attention away and watch some other YouTube video, uh, whether it's about the industry or some other a very uh, like highly addictive video platforms that I watch would be uh, in the categories of like finance or crypto or and a whole bunch of other things. Right. And then I'll join a discussion on Discord and my whole day is gone. Uh, I'll be on Reddit reading other people's comments all day. So why why do I do this? Because um, maybe it's because I have this this, you know, very short attention span, which most people do. And that's the same reason why I love the AWS videos because they were so engaging, right? Uh, I, I watched a couple so far and, and they illustrate it all by showing like these um, barista environment. And, and it was pretty crazy. No, not, I shouldn't say crazy. It was pretty intriguing. Uh, it was simplified to a point where if you had no cloud experience, this was going to show you and teach you on a very elementary kid and kindergarten, basically kindergarten, grade school level uh, explanation on, on teaching you AWS, which I found like, wow, if, if I could take that and learn from it, anyone can, because it, it was just like, I learned so much in a short period of time with the AWS. I'm not, again, this is not a promotion for AWS. You're going to ask me, why did I choose AWS versus Azure or Google cloud? Well, uh, I, I do have my reasons for that. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the reason for why I chose AWS, um, it's to make yourself more marketable because AWS has the higher dominance. I'm not saying Azure or Google does not exist or it's on the lower end uh, and people are not looking for them. They are. But as I said, I don't know what other organizations or how many organizations are looking at AWS versus Azure versus Google. Now, what I do know as market dominance is Amazon, AWS, Azure, and then Google. All right. So that's my reasoning for doing what I'm doing. Now, you're going to go and say, what about the ISC squared cloud practitioner or the CompTIA cloud plus? No, that's definitely doable. You, you definitely can. I don't ever foresee myself doing that. Well, not yet, at least definitely not the cloud plus. If I had to choose, I would go with the ISC squared cloud um, certification. But, you know, for the price tag, I'd rather just do the uh, Amazon AWS one. That definitely would put yourself uh, on top of your additional uh, qualities of what you know and your experience, which I would think that would open up additional doors on top of your security uh, stance on what you're trying to accomplish when you're looking for a job in cybersecurity and uh, adding on top of that, because cloud is such a huge factor of all this and they require a, uh, a, a significant amount of security individuals understanding it. And AWS also has a security, uh, certification as well. So let me just show you guys really quick as I'm, I'm going to pull that up, up AWS certification, um, uh, list. So let's see if I can, um, pull that up right now. I think there is, this is probably easier if I found an image. Okay, let's do this. We'll have a whole bunch of them right here. All right, so let's go here. And this is probably one of the, I mean, there's, there's other platforms that show this in a different way, but more or less, this is pretty accurate from what I can see. Uh, so Cloud Pr Practitioner is the foundational, which is the really like high level theory, understanding what AWS even does or, you know, what it functions as. And then you become an, you can become an associate and you go into different levels of solution architect, developer, or system op, op, op administrator. And the professional, which is the highest level is the solution architect, I guess, level two. And then the DevOps engineer, which is more involved than the, uh, developer, right? So I guess it's enhancing on top of that. And then you get into the specialties of it, which is security, advanced networking, machine learning, data analytics, and database which is pretty, pretty awesome, right? Uh, and of course, all of this side will require you to uh, invest more time uh, compared to the cloud practitioner, in my honest opinion. So 
that's pretty much why I'm doing it for recognition, for understanding it, and it's cheaper. It's a hundred dollars for that cloud practitioner. And the material is free. I don't, I'm not going to have to go out and buy additional books for like 50, 60 bucks on Amazon or any, and, and there, there's tons. I'm not even going to showcase what's on YouTube that can teach you cloud practitioner for free. And then you go take the exam for a hundred bucks. And then you add that into your list of trophies. You understand? So that is why I am doing what I'm doing. It's to make myself relevant in this space. And I assure you, if you have one of these on your list, right, it's going to make you a lot more marketable. So that is my word of advice. And I want to thank everyone here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and get me up there. All right. Thank you guys. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.